welcome to week 14. This is Luke Miller Adams from Fashion Chalkboard. You're watching one tip of the series 52 weeks of fashion sketching in Adobe Illustrator. And as always, you can watch this one independently, jump around all the videos. There's no order, you can just learn as you go. And today we are going to learn how to create, pretty much how to use rotation and alignment around a circle. And here is the file that you can download for free. And I created a brush here that you can play with based on today's example. There's a couple of things that you can do with this. What is rotate around a circle, right? A lot of times when we want to go into a finer detail, for example, for this rhinestone right here, I would have to draw each individual line if I didn't know how to do the shortcut and I have to distribute it in the same distance around the circle. Um, that's what I'm going to show you today and then you can take it further where you can actually rotate the entire rhinestone around the circle. And then I took it a little bit further and here we have like these fun animals. So with my ellipse tool I'm going to draw a couple of circles. I'm going to set my fill to none just so that I can see through from one to the other circle and I held down shift so that it is proportionate. It's a beautiful, perfect circle. And then all I need to do is press control C or, or command C for copy, control and F or command and F to paste in front, which gives me a perfect copy on top. Then I can use my selection tool and with shift and with alt or option, I can make that copy bigger. So once again, I need to make a copy, copy, paste in front shift and option or shift and alt drag and that's already pretty good right here this ensures that they are all aligned throughout the center and if not you could if one of them was off you could actually select all of these and then go to your line options right here and just make sure they're all aligned now what's important right now is to define the center for whichever circle you want to distribute around so I like to have my rulers out, command R or control R, and then we are going to click and drag and pull down what is called a guide. And when we release it, it becomes visible. So once again, on the side, click and drag and put it right here on the center. And under view, you wanna make sure that your guides are locked and that they are visible. If it says show guide here, that means you have to actually click on it. Okay, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see them. All right, so then we're going to bring in an element that we actually want to rotate around. And in this case, I'm just gonna start with a simple line segment and I'm using my line segment tool for that. So I'm going to just click and drag from here with shift so it's right on the vertical. And then what's really cool is when it's selected, we need to just press R, which is the rotate tool. You can also click on it. And then with option or alt, you need to click on the center of the circle and right away you can see how my rotate option comes up. And in here we have to specify what the distance is that we want this to move. So here your preview needs to be toggled on and off. Let's say if I made the distance smaller, 25 degrees, you can see how my preview shows that step a little bit smaller. In essence, um, you would have to calculate 360 degrees divided by how many copies you wanted. So at 90 degrees you would see how I would only get four copies so it jumped 90 degrees so that would be one this would be two three actually it's four total copies so at 45 that would double up so let's look at that again just a little math here so 45 one then here another 45 two three four five six seven eight okay let's do 45 and I'm just going to say copy and that's really important because what you're doing is you're in essence transforming this line to rotate and copy. What we need to do next is really simple. On the object, we have something called transform again. And the shortcut for that is really important, which is command D or control D. And that's all we need to do. Control D or command D again and again and again to finish our rotation. So let's do this one more time for a smaller degree here. Line segment tool draw a little line. Once again, I'm starting here at the center. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm just going to shorten this just a tiny bit with my direct selection tool. There we go. All right, click on it. Um, R for a rotate tool, option and click on the center or alt and click on the center. Now we're going to say 20 degree, see there. And then we say copy and right away, control D, control D. Okay. All right. 
right, so I hope this is easy. I hope you try it out. Um, let's look at a couple more of examples of what I did with this. So once you have this, you could group this just like I did for the rhinestones right here. What we could do is just come up pretty much with any circle. And there's my center point. Just define it with some guides. I'm just going to paste right here, copy, paste it onto this layer, group it. Just I don't want to lose any of these pieces. And it's really big, so I'm just going to make it smaller. So I can now start here at the center again. Give this my rotate R, then option, click on the center. If I can't see this, I should probably move in with my zoom. And then I'm going to say copy. So here you have a nice little overlap. And then don't forget the magical shortcut Control D, Control D, Command D, same thing. All right, I hope this was fun and inspiring to you guys. Here's just another example of what you could do. I took some of these um, symbols that come with my Illustrator and I just um, recolored them and I put them around the circle. And let me see what you can come up with. I'd love to see what you guys are doing. Like the video, subscribe to my channel. Ask me questions. What do you want to learn next? What did you have troubles with and you think there must be an easier way? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching and being here all the way to the end. And please, 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 please leave comments below. Um, hashtag FlatSketch52. If you do anything and it's a question, if it's an image that you've drawn, anything, let me know. Connect with me. All right. Have a good one. Bye.